Yeah, yeah, hold on, let me just do this first. <laughs> Merry Christmas everyone, I'm Benedict Terry. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just having a Christmas party. Alone. Mm. Anyway, last time we talked about a Christmas cartoon, that was a little on the heavy side, and uh, yeah, I'd rather end the year on a lighter note. And what better way to get into the spirit of the season that was something familiar? And I don't think any Christmas story is more familiar than that of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It's funny to think Rudolph is actually a fairly recent addition to the Christmas canon, having been introduced in a book by Robert L. May in 1939. The book was an instant hit, eventually resulting in the famous song, and in 1948 Rudolph made his first cartoon appearance, courtesy of animation legend Max Fleischer. Yes, just Max Fleischer. He fell out with his brother and they never worked with each other again. But anyway, other Rudolph specials may be more famous, like the Rankin Bass Stop Motion special, but this was the very first one. So, let's shed some light on things, shall we? Now we start one Christmas Eve with. Before Christmas, and all through the hills, the reindeer were playing, enjoying the spills of skating and coasting and climbing the willows. I'll be the one who does the talking around here cartoon. But still, what is Christmas without a little rhyming? Anyway, like the narrator said, we see all the reindeer skating, climbing and just generally playing, except for Rudolph, who is being teased for his red nose. Look, fellas, it's Rudolph! His nose the sight. It's red as a beak, twice as big and twice as bright. Boy, that is brutal. I mean, that reverb is really brutal. I mean, where they record this at church or something? We don't have a generic slapping. Quick, we need your life for next week. His nose is a sight. Okay, thanks. Despite the teasing, he tries to join in the fun, but a bad cut stops him before he starts. It happens. Rudolph! Rudolph goes home, puts up his stocking, and goes to bed. Though he has a rough night thinking of the bullying he endured. Meanwhile, at the North Pole, Santa notices some rough weather. Mm, this fog will be hard to get through. But he's got a job to do, so. Nice machinery. Santa and his reindeer try to fly through the fog, but inevitably crashes. And then the reindeer start it in, oh, no, not at all, this isn't the Family Guy version. Santa gets the reindeer down and is off again. Well, this fog isn't so thick, I can see just far. Oh, never mind. Then the sleigh gets stuck on a roof and Santa needs to push to get moving again. Eventually he arrives at Rudolph's house. Upon entering Rudolph's room, he immediately sees his giant glowing red nose. And then came the greatest idea in all history. Santa invents fog lights! No, not really. Santa asks Rudolph to lead the reindeer, obviously. Rudolph writes a note for his parents. Because it's 1948 and texting hasn't been invented yet. Hi Rudolph, it's very dark here. Unsurprisingly, with Rudolph at the head of the team, the rest of Santa's run goes smoothly, delivering all the presents to all the children of the world. In record time too. The next day, Rudolph's letter is found by the other reindeer, who then gallop, or float, to the stadium. And Rudolph makes his way to the centre while the other reindeer can only look on in stilted or repeated animation. It happens. Rudolph, my boy, they'll envy you now far and near. For no greater honour can come to a deer than riding with Santa and guiding my sleigh. I hereby appoint you Commander-in-Chief. Commander-in-Chief? Didn't think Santa was into that kind of stuff. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And 
as the song goes, all the reindeer never tease Rudolph again, and he goes down in history for leading Santa's sleigh that foggy Christmas night. And that was the original Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer cartoon. So, does it count as a Christmas classic? Um... um yeah, I think so. I admit it's not perfect. The animation is inconsistent, being pretty good one minute and pretty lacklustre in others, and the editing isn't all that great either, and considering it's Max Fleischer who made it, that does make it a tad underwhelming. Then again, this was produced on a smaller budget. What really sells this cartoon is its story. Rudolph's tale of being able to turn his situation into something worthwhile is really heartwarming, and as a character, he is very likeable, as well as pretty cute. With some better editing, this could have been an all-time great. But even as it stands, this is definitely one of the better tellings of Rudolph's tale. And besides, this is the very first one, so that's definitely got to count for something. I mean, with classic cartoons, I guess it helps to have some nostalgia goggles. I didn't see this as a kid, so I hope I wasn't too harsh on this. But anyway, thank you for watching, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah or whatever, and I'll see you in the new year. But for now, my hallucinations are having fun out there and I'm not missing out. Hey fellas, take that conga line from- Whoa!